the, the loser gets pie in the face. Oh, uh, he'll lose. No, I'm, not, I'm not a big Chelsea fan. You get him. And you get to then pie him in the face. Are you excited for your prize? No, I'm not impressed. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Here you go. Welcome back to For The Badge, I'm your host Rick Taylor. News just in, Cristiano Ronaldo has pulled his groin! No. <laughs> the ambulance has come. Thank God, thank you for the NHS for arriving so quickly and so swiftly for Cristiano Ronaldo. More news coming up your way about Ronaldo. <laughs> A bit at William Hill. 2-1 to Chelsea. 1-1. Two, two, one, one. Nah, it's 2-1. Two, two, one. One. Sterling's gonna, it's gonna score first, then it's gonna be Mount. Sterling and Mount. Sterling and Mount, yeah? yeah. Mount winning goal. Yeah, winning goal. <laughs> Very interesting right now, where both teams are clinched together in the table to possibly be huge contenders for top four finish. Are you a Manchester United fan? Are you a Chelsea fan? Let's find out what the fans have got to think about her. Three, two, one. It's going to be three ones because Cameron's going to come on the pitch and score the third goal. <laughs> In the last four times that both sides have played each other, they've drawn all four games. What's your prediction at home? Are you a Chelsea fan? Are you a Man United fan? Are you an Arsenal fan right now laughing at both of these teams? Don't forget, we want to hear from you. Please subscribe for the badge. And don't forget to check our website. That's on your screen right now. One, two, three. <laughs> Are we good? In three, two, what am I doing? I don't want to pie in the face. Right, welcome back and I'm joined here with Theo and Will here who have agreed to our very, very glamorous competition coming up. How confident are you about answering questions about Chelsea? Yeah, I got it. Oh, he's got it in the bag, Will. What do you say to that? I'm not very confident, to be honest. <laughs> I think we know who's going to get a pie in the face. Right, so it's a tie. Tiebreaker. Tie breaker. So extra time question. I'm going to ask you, gents, the same question. Whoever is closest is going to win the prize. So Theo, both of these teams have faced each other a total of 191 times in all competitions. How many of these games have Chelsea won out of 191? Uh, let's go for 80, 84. 84. Will, what do you think? Out of 191 games, how many games has Chelsea won? Out of 191? 56. Wow! Will, how do you know? I'll tell you what, the answer is 55. You're one off. So Will has actually won a prize. Um, Will, you're going to be taking home this beautiful pin. So you're going to be taking a pin here, and of course, this you know you know what's coming up, don't you, Theo? Are you excited for your prize? No, I'm not impressed. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Here you go. Well, that was the competition here with Chelsea fans and I'm spitting out cream right now. 
I'll tell you what, any Manchester United fans that want to enter in this competition, please stay tuned, but please do not forget to subscribe for the badge. I've been Rick Taylor, and don't forget to check our schedule. Whew, I definitely need a shower. Now the big question, the big hot topic is Cristiano Ronaldo. He threw all his toys out the pram last week. Is that okay? Well, it's Ronaldo, but no. Still no. It's a no for me, yeah. Do you think he's actually going to stay at the club? Do you think that he'll ever play for Manchester United again? I really hope he does. You know, like, growing up, I always loved Ronaldo being a Man U fan, but I do think, like, it's a bit of a babyish move to just do what he's done. You know, it's the first thing you learn in football is respect, but... I hope he plays again, but I'm not sure. Give me support. So which team you support? England, is that England, Chelsea and Man United? Hey, what's, what's your team again? Belsheva, Belsheva, Hala Belsheva. Hala Belsheva. Belsheva is my dream. So, your Manchester United, he's Chelsea? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so how do you think the game's going to go today? Uh, 90 minutes and it'll be over. That's my bro there, look. My old pal, grow up with him. So what do you need support for? Oh, mate, look, English boys. Don't do it. Chelsea, throw and throw. It's man, you used to do anything for money to go and watch Man United since he's about 12 years old. And he still does. He's done some gross things to get money, but he's about. Today's result is going to be very hard to say because we. Probably a draw. Yeah. I reckon Manuel will smash us. Manuel? Really? Chelsea, it's yeah. It's not Manuel, it's Manuel. Yeah, it's bad. It's I'm orange, you. Yeah. No way. Oh, oh, we don't. I said Say that against Tottenham, we played off. well. Uh, so I might have left Tottenham. Uh, uh, so anyway, Arsenal, the bubble's going to pop soon. And we're going to finish above you. Sorry, Over Christmas. Over <laughs> Christmas, it'll be all over. We come crashing. Man City's won the league already. So all put your money on Man City, go and draw it out. Alright, so, so I, just, I just want to confirm. So you genuinely believe that Man United are going to come to Stamford Bridge and, and do the boys? No, possibly. Yeah, be a draw with only. Possibly. Yeah. I said right. the same when Tottenham came here, I thought they was going to smash us, but they never did. They, <laughs> they <laughs> nicked a two-all draw. Drinking time, fella. So, yeah, cheers, guys. This is uh, English brief signing off. You're a YouTuber, right? Yes, what, what, what channel do you do? Uh, so I'm go by B4 Lancer on YouTube, FIFA content. Um, video today going out for the match, so. Shout out. Man, let's go. That they're going to change the actual name of the club. So it's going to be number four, Chelsea FC. Okay, what is it? What guess what the be? name's going right. to be? What is that? I don't know. Tell me. It, uh, and I'll give you a clue. It's kind of Americanized. We got the cow. Cal Look at that Americanized. Oh big blues. Yes. Did I predict it right? Yes, you predicted it. You're going to be called the London Cowboys at the oh, start of next no. season. <laughs> no, okay, no. That's, that's, that has to be a joke, right? It's a joke. Oh, no. no, no, it's real. No, it's not. You guys. Chelsea, Chelsea, cool. Chelsea, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. What do you think the score is going to be? 3 1 Chelsea, hopefully. Who do you think is going to be the key man? Chilwell, if he starts. Well, I'm very excited. Uh, I came all the way from the U.S. to see this match. Uh, I've got my, my, my friend here, i got my girlfriend here. She's a Man U fan, but we're not going to say anything about that. Um, so I'm excited. I hope, uh, you know, I hope they, they win the game today. Key man will probably be uh, Pulisic. And uh, 
Kepa right now too. He's doing good in goal with Mendy out on injury. Um, Manchester United struggling with Ronaldo, not going to be able to play today. Mm. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, Manu versus Chelsea, what's your predictions today? 2-0 uh, Manchester United. 2-0, clean sheet at Stamford Bridge. Lissandro and Rafa Varane, so it's going to be no, 2-1 Chelsea. 2-1 <laughs> Chelsea? 2-1 Chelsea, man. Come on. <laughs> Do you reckon Ten Hag's onto something to have the backing from the board and maybe the players to, to like, drop Ronaldo, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that, that takes a lot of backing. You, you, you can't have anybody against you if you're going to make that decision. So I reckon he's got... Of course, got yeah. Mm. Uh, but then, uh, when you don't, uh, you know, be, become receptive to the information from the manager, then it's difficult to keep the player within the team. So it's, it's the right decision. The manager was brave enough to take that, I think, take that call. Because the last few managers, they weren't ready to drop him. And now we're seeing, um, you know, every player, they don't have a fixed position within the team. It's competition for places. And I think that's the most important thing. And that kind of drives the hunger within the team. This is for the badge. I'm here with Benny. Thank you so much. Enjoy today's game. I was just letting him win because I want to try this. It's delicious. It's delicious. Well, guys, so, no, what are your game. thoughts and feelings on what's going to happen today? Uh, confident win, confidence. I think, man, you are going to pull through. No. no. I, I, I'm, I'm going to say 2-1, Rashford, Anthony, and Obama Yang for Chelsea. I'm going to say 3-0. 3-0. Are you both Chelsea fans? No, I'm no, not a Chelsea. Well, Man U Chelsea? No, I'm not a either. I just don't really like Chelsea. But no, I'm kidding. You can't you can't leave us in suspense now. No, what, what team? What team is Paul? I'm a Bayern Munich fan. So. Okay, fair enough. You know, best what? team in the world. You know, it's it's fun to watch these teams see uh, what they think is football. But <laughs> just a quick question on Bayern. How do you feel about losing Lewandowski and like the Mane situation? I, lit. I mean, I think Mane's been good and Sane this season has been amazing. We're bouncing back. I mean, obviously he's the best striker, one of the best strikers in the world. So. It's tough to lose him, but I mean, Barcelona are going to see when they're paying like 40 million for a player who's in his late 30s in their economic situation. I don't think it was a great decision for them, but I mean, we'll see. It makes we well, clearly, we don't need him. You know, we beat Barca without him and he played on the other team. So if he wanted to lose, it's okay with me. <laughs> That's perfectly put. And you surely a Chelsea fan, right? Yeah, for sure, of course. <laughs> so what's it, what, what, how are you feeling today? Oh, I'm feeling very confident. Uh, I think that despite the amount of injuries we have, especially in midfield, and uh, we lost a uh, very good player, uh, Rhys James, uh, I still think uh, with, the, with the subs we have, we're good enough to, to get this win. And yes, despite the fact that Man you have been playing well recently, uh, confident in, uh, in the Blues, and uh, we're going to get this. I think I'm very confident. I think a 3-0 win. 3-0 uh, win? Yeah, 3-0 win. 3-0 yeah. clean sheet. Who do you, who do you think is going to be the key man? Mount's on a top form. Uh, he's been scoring uh, goals recently in the past games. I think Mount's going to put one for sure. Uh, I'm feeling one for Aubameyang. And Pulisic has like, managed to pull through recently in the game. So I think Pulisic will be strong in this game. I think Ten Hag is going to demonstrate that bold coaches do it best. He, <laughs> <laughs> he's in hey, top form. Former he's Bayern a, man as well? Yeah, exactly. He's in top form. He's in top form. I mean, they just beat Tottenham. I mean, it's not that hard, but it's still an achievement in some ways. And uh, I don't know. I think they're, they're playing. And honestly, controversial. 
with Hake, but I think Ronaldo being sent home is going to do some good for the less pressure, less yeah. drama, because I think what he did for uh, Man U was ridiculous. And how can you consider yourself one of the best players in the world and um, act like carry yourself like that? I, I think it's really embarrassing, honestly, but uh, yeah, so I think it will do some good. been a goal from Casemiro in the last minute. Can you believe that? Here is Stamford Bridge, it finally finishes 1-1. I've seen, I've seen so many Chelsea fans been leaving this stadium for the last 15 to 20 minutes. What's up? What's what are up? your What's thoughts up? on the finish? <laughs> what are your thoughts on the game today? So the game itself was a bit, a bit slow um, from both sides, I think. Um, I think United were the better team. The Chelsea forwards weren't, weren't the, at their best. Um, so it would have been a bit unfair if it was a, you know, a Chelsea win. So I think a one-one draw is fair, to be honest. Man, I, I, I agree with him, but you see this Aubameyang. I call him Aubameyang the Airbender because anytime the ball hits his feet, he just goes <laughs> up in the air. The airbender, hashtag airbender Aubameyang. What's your thoughts and feelings on this Ronaldo situation, especially at full time? I'm Man, watching that. I, I've, the reason I started supporting United was because of Ronaldo. Love Ronaldo. Um, I was really looking forward to seeing him. Uh, I think as United fans and the United community, we, we should never forget that he is such a big part of our history. Um, and I, I just hope they can resolve it and hope to see him back on the pitch. He's very important to the team. So do, do, with that said, do you think Te, uh, Ten Hag's doing the right thing? It's, I'll give it to him. You know, Ronaldo did the wrong thing and he's, you know, punishing him. He's trying to be a leader, like, you know, set an example. But I think they need to sort this out by the next game, before West Ham, because this cannot go on. Ronaldo, this whole Ronaldo situation is stealing the headlines. I'm a Chelsea fan, you know, I work for, for the badge. But this air, this Aubameyang, what, what's his name? He's an airbender, because any time the ball hits his feet, it's up in the air, you know. Chelsea weren't really doing that well, man. They kept losing the ball in the first half. Man, you kept capitalizing off of that. We score, Jorginho, we score. Then Jorginho causes a tackle that led to, that's what I'm saying. And it's all, uh, it's all that guy's fault, man. Send it back to Arsenal, bro. <laughs> Send it back to Arsenal, because, oh, that. Guys, what are your thoughts on the game? <laughs> Man United were brilliant, we should have won. Um, <laughs> shouldn't have been a penalty. Chelsea are, Chelsea are struggling without Kante, without Rhys James. Uh, Potter's put a strong defensive side together, but we really struggle going forward. Like We need better attacking players. Like It's it's, uh, it's getting pretty stressful at this stage. Sorry, that man wants to go. <laughs> what, do, you, do you still think Chelsea need a striker then? Yes. Um, yes. Still? Yes. Definitely. 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 But we going forward, like we look lost going forward a lot of the time. Mm. Uh, and we struggle at the back. Uh, in the first half we looked very lost, in the second half we got it together. Kovacic made a big difference. Um, but yeah, I mean, I suppose Graham Potter is still getting used to this squad. And that's fair enough. And he's done a really good job so far. Mm. But offensively we're just so... We lack creativity. like. Okay, who would you envisage being like, who would be the perfect centre forward if you could? Diego Costa five years ago. <laughs> what, Ivan Tony? Would you take him? Uh, Ivan Tony, he's a good striker, he could do it. But every, every striker that goes to Chelsea, every striker that goes to Chelsea is a poison chalice. If Haaland, Haaland has scored, how many goals? 15 goals after nine games this season. But if he was at Chelsea, he would have a fraction of that. Like, because you reckon? <laughs> he'd have a fraction. He'd have a fraction. Strikers that go to Chelsea is Chelsea's where strikers go to die. Like. Oh wait, wait, Manchester United. Wait, wait. I have to, I have to ask you the question, the main yeah. question at the moment. Cristiano, what, what, what's your feeling, especially? If you're not a team player, then you can't play with the team. There's no one as big as Manchester United, even Ronaldo. <laughs> so he'd probably be back next week and win the game for us. If he'd be playing tonight, I think we would have won the game. 
So you're fully behind Ten Hag, think he's doing the right thing? I think so. Especially, we were here two a season ago. Chelsea were all over us. Tonight, I think it was 50-50. Maybe a little more United. Mm. So, I think they're improving, but it's a long way to go to Cap City. Yeah. Unfortunately to say that. That's, That's tough for me to say. That's true. But <laughs> look, at City could probably beat anyone. Okay, so do you guys reckon you'll make any signings in January? I just want to go back. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea should wait, they might get club. In January, like, the way it's the way it's going. Who? That guy. Who? In yeah, we're going to say. He's going to come next summer. We're going to say Jude Bellingham. No, you're not. Jude Bellingham in January. You reckon? And Harry Kane. Jude Bellingham's going to City. And that'll win the league. That would be a lot of money, though. Jude yeah. Bellingham and Harry Kane. That's way, 200 the million. Way, the, way, the way the way both But you only can spend that to have it. You don't even have that kind of money. Yeah. City are smart with their spending. Liverpool are smart with their spending. United are not smart with their spending. Yeah, when you they have Pep Guardiola, I think. And Chelsea this summer, like they're the biggest spending club in the world. And can you to look back and say they were smart signings? They spent 80 million on Fofana. 80 million. That guy was out injured all last season, and now he's out with five months injured again. Yeah, but like, when you sack, right, he was the on the wall. Like, what are you doing, spending 80 million on a guy who spent all last season injured? That makes no sense. One of the best managers in the world, third best. Tussles. It's you questionable, it's questionable, so it's very American and it's questionable and it's tough to judge at the moment but I like Graham Potter, I like his energy so fingers crossed like. Who do you support? I'm actually an Arsenal fan. <laughs> you want to win the league? Give me the camera, give me the camera. <laughs> Hi, I, oh, hope you, I hope you win the league. Uh, do you genuinely? No. Do you genuinely? Well, rather, you'd rather, rather you ask the Man City? I'd rather you win it than City. <laughs> or Liverpool. It, 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 it's confusing to me, yeah. And uh, you know what, yeah? L let me side with Manchester a bit. You see that manager that didn't let Ronaldo play? Now Ronaldo's in the sauna with two bad girls, one on the left, one on the right, kissing both of them at the same time, laughing. He's laughing, grinning, and he's kissing at the same time. Because, bro, like, because, like, look, look at the result. It's now 1 1. So, my shout out to Chelsea, take that boomer, a boomerang back to Arsenal. Man, <laughs> Is there a striker you want to see at Chelsea then? Um, so Brian, how often do you come over here to watch Chelsea? I come to watch Chelsea about every six months. Um, I'm a diehard Chelsea fan. The last time I was here is when they drew 2-2 against Liverpool. Um, the, the, the faith and, and intensity and love for Chelsea in California is huge. Um, Pulisic is, you know, our American hero out here. And uh, we like to have faith in him and see him out there more. We want to see more minutes out of him out there. Gotcha. Are you an LA uh, Galaxy fan by any chance? Um, no, but I'm not a San Jose Earthquakes fan either. MLS is shockingly bad, so I cannot watch it. I'd rather wake up at 7 in the morning and watch the Premier League. Strack, I want to see a Chelsea. That's a good point. Because um, you just got a bum yank. No, no, no. Uh, uh, what's his name from West Ham? Geppetto. Uh, as uh, well, as uh, yeah, yeah, he's a good, he's a good striker. I think he would be a good addition to the to the team. It's just that because Ooh, that's we, an interesting shot. Yeah, man, because we we need a, we need a, a a striker that has one that has a good touch, two that knows how to finish well, three that knows how to capitalize off an awkward situation, which he could. Abamian just doesn't have that finesse to do that, and his joints are all over the place. So <laughs> just put him on reserves. But I'll, <laughs> yo, I'm, I'm telling the truth. So hey, that's that's my take on it anyway. So. Yeah, man. Cheers, Cap, man. Yeah, thank you, man. Here with a City fan. Um, yeah, yeah. Do you think, are you, how confident are you that Arsenal's bubble is going to burst? So, so Arsenal's playing much better than I thought they would. But I think they are light on depth. So if Odegaard and Martinelli fade, I think they struggle. So that's the two, the two in the midfield that make all the difference for, for Arsenal. Without them, I watched the game against PSV on Thursday. They were actually very ordinary. So I think one of the two of them out, or both of them out, game over for Arsenal. Okay, and so, but do you still think that they're the, the biggest threat to, let's say, second place or the title charge? Or are you still not, con not entirely convinced? Uh, I think when, when winter comes in properly and there's cold, Tuesday and Wednesday night matches. Like it's not Stoke anymore, but... <laughs>
badge. Subscribe to the badge in it. Vote English vote. Next Prime Minister.